All right, let's move it to a Chief Financial Officer. Okay. All right, in board book, you will find the highlights of the January financials. Uh, the first report that you will see is the monthly highlight of actual January, outlining some of the key features that happened during January. After that, you will find the summary of the revenue and expense year-to-date report. There was a question submitted on, was there a concern with operating revenue being about 4% lower than last year? Obviously, when you look at the financials, you want to see how close you are tracking it. Um, the concern that I did find after looking at the revenue sources that we have is the state being delinquent on making their reimbursement payments to the district. Um, the sources that we have, obviously, are major uh, tax revenue collection is uh, property taxes. That's 80, that, That's our major one here. We collect 98 to 99 percent, leaving our next sources, which would be general state aid and the state revenue. So those were the two big pieces that I looked at. And with the state not passing a budget um, and being a little delinquent on it, that potentially could be the 4 percent difference there. Next in your... Oh, that explains what the difference is. The question was, is there a concern? That's uh, $450,000 less. It is. This it year is. than last year. Are we going to expect to collect it or not? I'm expecting to collect it. Okay. That, that, you know, with our collection being 98, 90, 99%. But that's for property, property taxes. taxes. And I think the state will come through with making the general state aid payments and the other revenue payments out there. The Chicago, did you read the Chicago Tribune today? I did not. The Chicago Board of Ed's thinking to close the school three weeks early because they're afraid the state's not going to come up with the money for them to be able to fund. So do, do, is there, do <coughs> they, they have some information that they're going to come through, or are we just kind of hopeful they will? Well, CPS is a totally different I know. But, animal compared to... But their reliance on state aid is what mm -hmm. their claim is their problem. And we're, we're uh, 450,000 below where we were this time last year on revenue collection. Mm -hmm. Did we get paid late last year or did we get paid on time? It's, it's still late. They're just paying out last year. I mean, year's last payment. year, okay. Last so, year. They're still paying us this year for last mm -hmm. year. For last year. So we got to, you know, just well, kind of hang for tight. For the most, for my six years here, we mostly do get our money, but it is usually late. But we're usually not this far behind last year's collection. Right. That, I'm just comparing it to last year. And I, but I don't know if I heard, Scott, if you know what proportion of that you know, behind is the state and what portion is the, just the collection of our property tax revenue. Yeah, that I would have to look more into detail with it, break it down line item, line item by line item with it. I can work through the superintendent. Well, well it's it. something we're a little curious about. Yeah. So maybe when you do your next month's report, we can have some more color if we're still behind. Okay. Okay. Have we gotten any payments for this year's budget? Uh, we've received like one payment for special ed transportation and a few payments for special ed reimbursement. How about general state aid? We have been receiving the general state aid. Okay. So this is all reimbursable? Yes. Yes. Which would be special ed transportation mm -hmm. primarily? And room and board, special ed room and board, okay. orphanage stuff. Okay, uh, continuing on. You will see in board book, page 13 through 16, is the student activity, activity accounts summary for the month of Ju uh, January. Following the student activity accounts is the revenue expense report, which is in every month. That's from page 17 through page 46. Following that on page 47 is an updated building rentals report. This was updated to reflect the year-to-date expenses on it. That was something that was brought up at a prior board meeting. I wanted to throw that in there just to see that. Following the updated building rentals is a three-year comparison of revenue only. The expenses were not tracked in prior years as it is in current years. So we didn't have a breakdown. They didn't have a breakdown for maintenance, custodial. maintenance, security, and custodial. We just shifted it with your new when you take it over the office of going in that profit. Mm -hmm. Following your three-year comparison is your budget calendar 
for FY18. Can Briefly, you go back to the, did we expect to be behind the prior year on uh, revenues at this time? The prior two years? Well, I guess it goes, it, years vary. But. Yeah, years vary, and we're, like you said, we're doing it on paid invoices right. with it, so I'm just pulling strictly revenue with it through 14, 15 software. had the stadium, right? Or was it fifth? One of them didn't have the stadium. 20, 15, 16 didn't right. have the stadium. Have stadium. And then we started to have the, some stadium rentals back at the end of 16, 17. So we're only two quarters in. Okay. Okay. Um, back to the budget calendar. It briefly outlines the tentative dates on there, looking at various items that will be used to construct the budget for 2017-18. Tried to get as close as I could with the different board meetings and committee of the whole meetings. Following the budget calendar is the updated finance tracking document. Is for somebody okay? Somebody, somebody, somebody collapsed back there. Yeah. Somebody okay? Somebody okay? Somebody okay? Move away. Yeah, move, move away, guys. We do have a doctor in the house. John? Water. We have water bottles. This is Kristen. We need to call the students' parents. Is it a student? Better than Gress than you or us too. Or Tim. Just yeah. let everybody know we have our principal out there, and Dr. Keene is a doctor looking at the person. So. Okay, Scott, you want to continue? Okay, sure. Uh, board book page 52 through 55 has the updated uh, finance tracking documents for the construction projects for invoices paid through the February 14th board meeting. They will be put up online tomorrow. So it's 52 and 53 is the old project is of 15, 2015, 16. and then 2016 is on 55. Uh, or is it 54? 52 and 53 are the stadium project. So that's where you'll be adding on the phase three, the parking phase and three, tennis. Yep. Taking and so the, that's the only bills we have left on that project. Everything else, is, you believe, is closed out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then on... Page 54 of the board packet, that's the summer roof project and this gymnasium project that we just got finished. Yes. And we have, I believe, one or two pay requests remaining. Yes. There's a final pay app, and then there will be holding another uh, little contingency money. It'll be paid off. So we're planning on having this then <coughs> closed out by the end of this fiscal year? Will that project be closed out by the end of the fiscal year? The gym and roofs, yes. Okay. And so then... This one. And then you'll start a new sheet for the rough project of 17, 15. and then uh, the, the, the parking lot and tennis courts will go back to the old one on 15, 16. Yes. And everything for right now is still on, on par with budget? Yes, it is. Okay. And the final document that's in your agenda packet is the quarterly business review, which is done by Aramark, our custodial and maintenance service. It just highlights the October through January um, uh, key things that they've done as far as work orders and key projects 
keeping our building looking good. Okay, anything you need to highlight there? Any questions? No, that, like you said, that's just to see what they've been doing. Okay, no, that's response fine. Response time. Mm -hmm. And there were no qu questions submitted no on this side. No questions submitted either. on right. Any questions on this side? Any questions on that side? No. All right, thanks, Scott.